so welcome to another video. Today it is my March sewing plans. I have a lot of them. This is a large pile of fabric that's sat next to me here. Not just fabric, actually patterns as well, which I don't have fabric for yet. So, <laughs> okay. So the very first thing that I've got to do in March is make my sister-in-law's mother an 8577 dress for her cruise in April. And it is this beautiful turquoise viscose chali, which I got from weaverd.com and I will list it down below because I believe they still have some. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be the 8577. I think she wants sleeves on it. I'm not 100% sure, I need to double check if she wants sleeves and a collar. Be good to know that before I made it, wouldn't it? So yes, but it's gonna be an 8577 and uh, her cruise is the beginning of April, so I have, that's one thing that I absolutely have to get done in March. Apart from that, I have a massive pile of fabrics next to me here. Some of these may not get done in March and that will be okay. It won't be the end of the world, but I would like to and I have no plans for March I'm not going anywhere or doing anything and I will have my sewing machines for the entirety of the month which helps especially when you want to do all the things as I didn't get done in February never mind first thing is the Romana coat I didn't get that done in February because I didn't have any calico to make myself a muslin and I was going to just power ahead and make it and then I decided that the fabric that I'm using is just way too nice to do that and it not be perfect and there's a lot of work involved in that coat. So I've ordered myself some muslin, uh, calico, twill fabric. I have ordered myself some twill fabric and I'm going to make up the shell just to check the fit on me and see if I like it. Because I mm, I love the style and I like how Elisa Lex has styled it in the photo shoot with wide leg trousers. And I do have a lot of those and I could see myself wearing it in that manner. So yes, I'm going to finish my Romana coat. The next thing on the Sew My Style challenge is the Closet Case Patterns Cali shirt. And I don't think that one's for me. I love the shape of it, I, I I like the idea of it, I just know that if I made it, I wouldn't wear it. I just wouldn't. It's not, it's not the right thing for my wardrobe. So, I'm going to substitute in another pattern and it's going to be this Butterick one by Gertie and it's going to be the tie front shirt. And I love, love, love that pattern. I think that is very me. It will fit in with my wardrobe. It works with all the kind of things that I like to wear. I can even see myself wearing that as kind of like a little cover up on top of, say, a dress like this. I mean, obviously not in the print that I'm gonna use, but yeah, a dress like this, I think that would look really cool. And the fabric I have for that one is this Timeless Treasures, and it is called CC. So C as in the ocean, and then C as in the letter, and it's the 5335. And the lovely Mary from Precut Nuts Quilt Fabric by Precut Nuts on Facebook sent this to me and it's got octopuses on it. I'm totally gonna have octopus boobs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna embrace that. Maybe not two octopus boobs, but yeah. Oh, it's got a lobster as well. Maybe maybe a lobs lobster boob and an octopus boob. Oh, look, and that, yeah, look, that works out really well. <laughs> Sorry, my, my random, random brain. Anyway, I'm going to make that shirt out of this fabric. It is a quilting cotton, which I think will work for that kind of fabric because that, that, sorry, that, I think that will work for that kind of shirt because that shirt doesn't need to have any drape in it. It needs to have kind of some structure as well for when you're tying the bow. So I think this is going to work really well. I'm really excited about this one. And as you will notice with all of my sewing this month, it's going to have kind of a theme to it. So most of these things work in together. I think excited about that one. Now, these next two patterns were sent to me by the lovely Karen as my part part of. She sent me an amazing parcel, the KB Pattern Swap Secret Santa edition, and she had an idea for these to be an outfit which I kind of love. I think that's going to be really cool. I'm not sure which view of this I'm going to make yet. I am really tempted by A, the tie neck version. I think that's so coming back into fashion, isn't it? I th I th possibly, possibly. Or C. 
I really like C. So what I want to get for this one is a red and white stripe and I know Girl Charlie have some amazing ones and I'm going to the Knitting and Stitching show next week and I plan on taking this pattern to the Girl Charlie stand and seeing what their recommendations are for fabrics. I have to say Girl Charlie are amazing. They sent me a sample pack, a good um, and it had all the different types of um, knit fabrics that they sell and they had a good 10 centimeter swatch of them and you could see what the stretch was like and what the feel was like and they gave you a detailed description of what each fabric was and what it was good for and how much elastic in it, how much stretch it had, that kind of stuff. And if you ever have any queries about what, you, uh, what you're making like this, I've never made anything like this before so and it, it recommends jersey, spandex blends, stretch lame, stretch velvet, two way stretch and I need some trico for the lining. Um, but yeah, it's, they're great. Send them an email, send them the pattern that you want and they will be more than happy to help kind of point you in the right direction of the fabrics that you need to look at. But anyway, so red and white stripe for this. And then I have got the McCall's 7131 and I'm not sure which length I'm going to make yet. Possibly collots. Possibly collots, possibly C. Yeah, possibly sort of like, this is actually D because it's got chiffon overlay over it, but maybe that length, because they are so wide that could look like a skirt and I like that idea and it is coming up to spring. But I might get more wear out of E, the full length ones. But I'm gonna make that in a navy crepe. So this pattern's designed for light to medium weight wovens and it wants gauze, chaddy, crepe, crepe de chine and for D, a uh, chiffon or georgette. So I'm gonna have a navy crepe pair of high-waisted trousers, wide-legged with pockets, and a red and white striped jumpsuit. No, bodysuit. Can you see where I'm going with this month's theme? With the sea creatures? It's nautical. I mean, saying that, there are some fabrics here that are not. Uh, but yes, so that's the plan for those. As I said, I don't have the fabrics for these yet. I'm gonna get those at the Knitting and Stitching show. If I can't find a crepe that I like for these ones, I am actually going to buy it from the fabric room because I really, really, really like their crepes. They are incredibly well priced. And this month's circle skirt tutorial, it's gonna be a half circle skirt and I'm gonna do that in a navy crepe as well. So I need quite a lot of it. So if I can't find it at the show, I'm gonna order it from the fabric room. But yes, those two. I know a lot of you have been asking for the five panel skirt, circle skirt tutorial and I will be doing that. I'm gonna make it out of this scuba. I do have a dress out of this and I hope I've got enough left to make this five panel circle skirt length that I want out of this fabric. Um, the I'm going to show you how I draft that pattern for a stretch and then I will the same process will apply to drafting it for a woven you will just need to take a different measurement into consideration. So I'm hoping that at the show I will find a directional print which is what those panel circle skirts are great for is directional prints where you want you don't want too much of it to the print to be squiffy so if you had like a normal circle skirt then the bits at the side would be facing the wrong way when it all draped if that makes sense so yes five panel circle skirt out of this not nautical themed but the right kind of colors so the next one i have is another scuba it's this one i got this from fabric styles i absolutely love fabric styles for their fabrics uh, those scubas I have washed and tumble dried, I know you're not meant to tumble dry them, so many times and they haven't peeled or bubbled unlike some other much more expensive scubas that I've bought. So not all scubas are created equal, I mean not all fabrics are created equal, we know this. But uh, yeah, have to highly, highly recommend Fabric Styles for their scuba. I loved this cloud print, I've been eyeing this up for ages and when I bought a big selection earlier this year, I decided to add this one in and I am going to have a fuss with the neckline of the jacket dress because you all know how much I like the jacket dress. I've made two now and I will make some more and whilst I do like that really high neckline, I think it's lovely, we are coming into slightly warmer weather so I'm still going to want the long sleeves and all the flute fluted beautiful drapey skirtiness but I want to have more of this kind of neckline. 
So I'm going to attempt, and attempt is the correct word there, I'm going to attempt to have a fuss with the pattern and make it to have this neckline. So the back panel is cut uh, in half at the waist and seamed there, so I'm going to have to join that together. The back, um, the bodice portion of the back is in two pieces because of the lovely um, slit up the back, so I'm going to have to join those together to then join them to the skirt portion so I can cut that one on the fold and then I'm going to have to draw a neckline in to the other other dress panels because there's the front one the side one the side back and the back so I'm going to draw the neckline in draft away a neckband for it and hope for the best <laughs> but that's what this fabric is destined to be and again I mean it's stormy cloudy skies so you know that could be possibly be think thought of as nautical i think maybe yeah yeah nautical this next one's definitely nautical i've had this for ages i saw it on indian royal treasures and i buy a lot of my rayon from indian royal treasures because again incredibly well priced beautiful prints wears really well i wash this stuff because it's this it's only like four pound fifty a meter and some of my rayons, like the Rifle Paper Company one that I have, is dry clean only. And I've not made that up into a dress yet because I know what it's going to be. And it's going to be beautiful, but it's also going to be a dry clean only dress. So, I got this from Indian Royal Treasures. And it is anchors and ship wheels. Steering wheels? Those, yeah, big ship wheels on it. I really like this. I actually have two separate lengths because I bought all that they had and they said that was it and then they had some more in stock so I bought that too. I believe I've got at least three meters here and this is going to be the sew over it eve dress. I'm going to revisit that bodice, I'm going to re- the skirt's perfect, I just need to retrace the top portion because it was just that little bit too baggy for me and what I had done was done the waist at size 8 and then the bodice at size 10 at the top and kind of graded between the two and I didn't need to do that I'm going to just do a straight size 8 the whole way down so yes love this definitely nautical next up uh, now this is another timeless treasures C CC fabric I bought this at either the knitting and stitching show or the festival of quilts I want to say last year but I think it was the year before not 100% sure, but it's got more octopi on it. I have a thing for octopi. Me and my best friend have a in joke about that the octopi learn faster than she does in the nicest possible way. And yeah, I absolutely love this. Now, when I sent, I sent Merrick because I've only got three meters of this and I wanted to make one of my big long skirted dresses out of this. And I sent Mary a picture of it and she didn't have that exact, oh, throwing stuff on the floor she didn't have that exact fabric but she had something from the same design that yeah so it's the c by c range the cc range and um they i think i think they work really well together so what i'm thinking is if i have enough of this i'm going to make a skirt and i'm going to make what I would like to do is the 8577 skirt, a button up skirt with pockets. If I have enough of this, I would like to do that. I may have to trace this shorter size. I might have enough if I do that and make it just below the knee rather than mid calf. And I think that will still work. And I like the idea of wearing that one with that one. Tie shirt, big skirt, I like that. But yeah, that's what this one's gonna be. This next one, definitely nautical themed, but it is bringing in some different colours. So it's not all just, because that, that pile there is very kind of blue and white, isn't it? So this one is a cafe facet fabric, and I got this at the Festival of Quilts. It is stunning. I bought whatever they had left on the end of the bolt, and I hope it's three and a half metres. I hope it is. My plans for this are to make the McCall's 6696 dress. I think this would make an awesome shirt dress. I love shirt dresses. I find them really easy to wear. And I just, I love this print. I love this print so much. It is quite a large print. So I'm hoping that will work. 
because it might end up being that this ends this one uh, come here this one ends up being the 6696 and then this one ends up being a really big skirt because of the print that's possibly what might happen but that would be like what i would like to make with those now <laughs> i did this last year i made the hashtag um 20, uh, 2017 make nine plans and then just never included them in any of my monthly sewing and then got really confused as to why they never got done i mean you know reasons shan reasons so this month i want to make the deer and doe brewery shirt i have traced that pattern off i need to do a full bust adjustment on it and i'm going to wake make a wearable muslin out of this chambray because i think that will look really cool and this is not an expensive fabric and if it all goes horribly horribly wrong i, I won't cry it's not one of my beautiful prints that I can't get hold of anymore. I do have some stripy fabric to make the proper brouillé from once I've worked out, finished, finessed the fit. But for, for this month, I think it's going to be this one. So the next thing that I'm going to be making is the By Hand London Anna Bodice with some of this beautiful border print that Mary sent me. Again, pre-cut nuts. The details are in the description bar below. I think this is so pretty. I love this one. I think it's Edible Garden is what this one's called. Oh, it's beautiful. What's it called? Yeah, Edible Garden. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. I think this bodice will work, this um, top part will work for an Anna bodice. Might, I might try and do it like that so that I have this kind of under my face because I think that will be more flattering. And then I'm going to add on a pleated and gathered skirt out of this bit. Mary has sent me, incredibly kindly sent me five meters. So I have a lot of fabric to play with. So yes, by hand London and address that will be number 26 of those. I did say that I was not gonna make so many TNTs, but oh, let's see how many TNTs have I got in there? Six, six, not two TNTs in there so far. That's not too bad, right? Yeah, that's fine. That's totally fine. So I have two more fabrics next to me that I would like to incorporate into this month if I possibly can. And the first one is this fishy underwater coral reef fabric that I got from fabric.com and it's called Beneath the Waves. It's a Hoffman print. So they do hyper-realistic prints like this. Now, I made a dress for my neighbor last year for her son's wedding. He has a thing for fish and she wanted to surprise him with something to wear to his wedding. So I made her a simplicity dress and a Lucala Bolero out of this fabric. And I hadn't ordered quite enough to make the bodice as beautiful as I wanted because the there were print placement issues so I ordered some more fabric and which is why this is half cut out here to make the bodice out of and then I obviously have all of the bottom half left to make myself a skirt now I think it's going to be it's either going to be a gathered skirt or it's going to be a pleated and gathered skirt probably Probably just a gathered skirt actually. If there is enough fabric left, I will make a bodice out of this as well because I like the idea of having a dress in this print, but maybe a tie fronted shirt if there's enough of it to do that, possibly. Something along those lines, but yes, I think this is so cute and I love it. And this is definitely my colors as you can tell from the background and uh, yeah that one and then i have two more fa fabrics sitting next to me i have no idea if i'm going to have time to get to these i also don't know if i'm going to have enough of this one i think i've only got 2.8 meters three yards i bought this from fabric.com i love the striped nature of it and what i want to do is have a play around with a chevroned bodice into a pleated skirt but as I say I don't know if I'm going to have enough of it so I'm going to have a look see what I've got and work out if I can make the type of dress that I want to make 
with it. I could do just a standard box pleated skirt without any of the gathers behind it. There might be enough to do it that way. One of the things about stripes is matching them all up. That's just, you know, that is so much fun. Everyone loves to do that, don't they? The other thing I could do is I could make just a skirt out of this, a box pleated skirt out of it. And there are so many lovely colors in here that I like. So the navy, the turquoise, the lime green and the white. I want to make myself some more t-shirts and I like the idea of this skirt with different t-shirts over the top. That's something that I've been wearing a lot of this winter. So there's that possibility. Those t-shirts would go really well with some of the other skirts that I've got planned, so that might work. I could also make some tie-fronted shirts. Like I'm definitely at some point gonna have to make myself a white tie-front shirt because that would just be a complete workhorse in my wardrobe and work with so many things. So yeah, possibly just a skirt out of this one. Although I love the idea of chevroning the bodice. But the other chevron bodice that I did, I had nearly five and a half metres of fabric and I only just squeezed out enough for the fussy cutting of all the prints that I, I needed to do. So maybe just a skirt out of this one. But I love this. I think it's really summery. It works with the colours that I'm playing with here. And yeah, yeah, I like this. And then finally, I want a new set of PJs and they're really quick to make. And I got this, this is my Australian fabric. Oh, it smells so good. Uh, Dad's washed it, it's wonderful. <laughs> and it's, yeah, I'm gonna make myself some new pajamas because I have two sets of homemade pajamas which I am wearing to death and I want a few more and I think this is going to look lovely as one of those. Having said that, yeah, pajamas. It is a really pretty print. It is a really pretty print. And why should I not have pretty print pajamas? Why does pretty prints have to be a dress? And yes, pajamas. <laughs> have I said pajamas enough, do you think? So yeah, that that's my plans for March. I'm gonna be so busy. I mean, when am I not? But yeah, this is really exciting. I'm gonna have another clean out of my wardrobe. So I am going to be identifying definite gaps in it, like the t-shirts. I have three of them and I wear them on fast rotation. So I definitely need some more of those. And with these cottons that I've got here, so like this one, I can pick out the greens, the turquoises, the, ugh, the cafe facet one. If I made a skirt out of that, there's yellows, there's pinks, there's greens in there as well all colours that I love and will wear so yeah I, I'm quite tempted to actually make this one the skirt and the other octopus one the mm, the dress that could possibly happen so yeah lots and lots of plans wish me luck as ever I'll be vlogging myself daily so that you guys can see what kind of progress I'm making uh, as you know February's plans kind of worked I got a lot done there was a lot I didn't get done but there were got I did get a lot done so you know pleased with that yeah wish me luck so I really hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give it a thumbs up if you haven't yet please subscribe and I'll see you again very soon bye